So hello everyone, hello everyone, and um, this is Brandon Olsen, and I'm here with a basic recap of Nintendo's E3 2011. Um, yeah, and it's just, this is just a recap of the presentation on Nintendo's network. So just give you something to look at. <clears throat> um, let's start out with, um, Pro 3S. Um, they announced a lot of things. They announced one new game. And then gave trailers and stuff to you. Games we've known about, more Game Boy, stuff like that. But before I talk about that, um, I want to talk about um, The Legend of Zelda's 25th anniversary. They had an orchestra come in and they played all the Zelda songs. And then the very last song was um, Blue Sky Red Sword theme. Um, And they show a little bit of, um, Skyward Sword. And, um, I didn't catch the release date for that, but I'm assuming it's holiday this year. And, um, um, they're having a, um, I lost my train of thought. The Legend is on a 20th anniversary concert. All over the world, um, where it looks so, comes around and, um, uh, plays all the music, and, um, I didn't say much about that, um, as I can at soundtrack, and they said more and more things, um, um, so yeah, for the Legend of Zelda, and, um, see, it's just, I'm just running it so you can look at it. <laughs> <clears throat> on to 3S again. They announced one new game. And um I kinda s I had kind of the suspicion that they were going to announce this third right there. Um Luigi's Mansion 2. And um I'm really happy with this because I really love Luigi's Mansion. It's so incredibly fun. It's for the GameCube, if you didn't know. And um it's Luigi. And um I love Luigi's Mansion. I would definitely be picking up this installment to the series. So we just mentioned two for the 3S and it looks amazing. Um completely amazing. Um so I, I look forward to that. I don't think there's um a prediction as to when that's coming out. But um yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. And, um, that was just the only new game that they announced for 3DS, but, um, it was really good. Um, and, uh, they talked a little bit more about games, the Super Mario, they're bringing back the big Tanuki suit, uh, the Mario 3, I just noticed that, um, and it looks really fun, um, it had a little bit more of, um, Star Fox 64. Oh. A little bit more of that gameplay. And, um, a few new little things that you can do for that game, like actually moving the 3S itself to control your, um, R-Wing instead of using the circle pad. Either or, depending on what kind of gamer you are and what you want to do. <coughs> And, um, multiplayer, just local, like, four people with three S's get and play, battle each other, um, and the, um, camera will capture your face, so if you're tailgating someone and you're going to destroy them, their little face is at the top, and you get to watch their reactions, so I think that was, that was really cool, and Mario Kart, and, um, the cool thing about Mario Kart is, um, that you get to pick the body of the cart, the wheels, and then a little parachute thing. I know, it's not a parachute, but it's like a glider, um, which is really kind of cool. Um, and then Kid Icarus, some more gameplay of that, um, I'm not really a big fan of Kid Icarus, but, um, I gotta cover everything. 
um, I don't know what, when that's going to be, uh, but it's, it's going to be sometime. Um, I, there is some more Ocarina of Time gameplay, but, um, it's not too much, because it is coming out in a few weeks. Um, and moving on to this new big home system, Nintendo just doesn't want to let go of that name, Wii, so they just added a little part to Wii. It's Wii U, which, um, is the whole entire concept of a Wii fit for you, um, and, um, it was kind of, I drew a picture of this controller a little while back, I never showed it, but, um, it, I had the, it, it was the basic concept that I thought it would be, but, um, I'm pretty sure that um, you'll have to buy a new console all in itself. It's just going to be Wii. So, um, basically the concept is it has a 6 inch, inch touchscreen, um, a 6.2 inch screen. It can also be used as a touchscreen in some cases. And, um, if someone wants to come in and there we go, football's on, well okay, and then the game that you're playing, let's say you're playing Super Mario Brothers, it goes from the giant TV to the screen on the controller, so you can just keep playing it, um, which is really interesting. So, but he stressed that it's not a portable system, it's just portable in your house, like, not, um, just being able to go somewhere in your house and still play the Wii game that you're playing. And, um, it showed, like, new Super Mario Brothers and, um, some other things like that, just products, it's great. Um, <coughs> and you'll still be able to use the Zapper, the Wii Remote, and, um, things like that. And that thing I was talking about earlier in the show right now, the face thing. Um, and the graphics, they showed a bit of graphic snippets, like one was of a bird flying around this Japanese looking temple. And um, for a second, I was like, is this real? Was, was this film? But no, it wasn't. It was, um, it was graphics. So that was really impressive. And um, what was surprising was my predictions on the Wii U, the new home console, were wrong. Um, all, mainly all the things that were announced and all the things that were introduced were the party. <coughs> Keep their clear my throat. They were all third party. Um, except for some Lego game that they're need to know is in partnership with some company. Lego City or something like that. Um, I'm not a huge fan on the Lego series. Um, I never really played Legos, but, um, if you're a Lego fan, then you should check that out. Um, and it was third-party stuff, like, they had, um, e-electronic arts, I think it's cutting off, electronic arts, um, president come out and discuss, um, the significance of this new home console, and, um, he mentioned things like the Xbox game Battlefield, like, graphics compared to games like Xbox Battlefield and Xbox Call of Duty war games like that and it was more geared to hardcore war things like that like hardcore people um I'm not too much of a war person like war games I'm not really into war games but um the war games looked pretty impressive compared to um Xbox and PlayStation like equal to or greater than those graphics um, the graphics are surprisingly impressive, but I'm assuming that you'll have to buy a whole entirely new Wii for this console. But you'll get to keep the Wii games, the Wii remotes, all you have to do is buy the console with the controller. Um, so really impressive. Um, no Pikmin, I think I mentioned that, but no, um, Nintendo announced. Wii U games, but that 
doesn't really mean anything. It's just they're too early in development or they just don't want to give it away yet. <coughs> so, um, yeah, there, there could possibly be a Pikmin game. Definitely Super Mario, things in that nature. So, yeah, um, they don't really show any Mario and Sonic at the Olympic 2012 games. They did mention it once, um, but nothing real too significant. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. Going back to the 25th anniversary of Legend of Zelda, Shigeru, Shigeru Miyamoto, um, he mentioned a golden Wii remote when for Skyward Sword. Um, um, which is really cool. It has the Triforce on it, and I think it's going to be limited edition packed with, um, that's really cool Skyward Sword game. <laughs> so, that's about all. If I left anything out, I'll, I'll put in the description or whatever. So, thanks for watching. And goodbye. <laughs>